So people say, look at it behind us, Justin. Now you're finally this getting your like first look. This is like the view look. that I, I get. Yes, <laughs> lucky you. So far this year, Arizona has been treated to the best sky shows that we've ever seen. In May and October, the Aurora Borealis. Did I say it right, Lauren? That's pretty good. Golly, look at me, meteorologist. <laughs> Thank you. Or Northern Lights. They were visible here in State 48 and even across the valley. Meteorologist Lauren Rainson explains why this year has been extra active. The Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights, are the result of electrons colliding with Earth's upper atmosphere. When energetic particles are snapped back toward Earth's atmosphere, they tend to travel along Earth's magnetic field lines. Typically, this is in the polar regions. But when Earth's magnetic field becomes super disrupted, like a geomagnetic storm or solar activity, sometimes this can get displaced toward the lower latitudes. Since Arizona is in the lower latitudes, we see red auroras. What a lot of people in Arizona have been seeing are these red aurora, the ones that are very high in the sky. You can see those on the horizon. Um, so they're not overhead, but you're looking on the horizon at them. And that's where you get these pictures of this display where you can see the red and sometimes you can see them down into green. The different colors indicate how high in the sky the electrons collide with molecules in our atmosphere. Red auroras, like the ones we've seen recently in Arizona, occur above 200 kilometers. Green auroras are 100 to 200 kilometers, or about 124 miles up in the sky. So why has Arizona seen the Northern Lights more now than ever before? We're seeing a lot of activity right now because we are in solar maximum. So the sun's magnetic field flips polarity every 11 years or so. And when it's in the middle of that, things get very unstable on the surface of the sun. So we get a lot of solar flares, a lot of mass ejected from the sun, and, and that's called a coronal mass ejection. This can influence the Earth pretty significantly. The storm that happened back in May uh, was the most severe rating of a storm. We tend to say that those only happen once a solar cycle. The big time Aurora shows happen roughly every 11 years. Even though we have an idea on when auroras will be visible, it's not an exact science. Last solar cycle, we didn't have any. It was a quieter solar cycle. So now we're in this state where we haven't seen um, a solar cycle like this. We haven't seen a solar max like this for 20 years. And 20 years later, we have technology that allows us to share our view of the sky's most breathtaking light display. If you've missed out, we are still in solar maximum. So the next big show could happen over these next few months. For 12 News, I'm meteorologist Lauren Rainson.